Hello everyone, welcome to G4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to do a PayPal payment gateway with the Drupal Commerce website, okay? Uh, for that, what you have to do, you have to enable the module Commerce Payment. I already enabled this module in this website. Uh, let's go to the uh, configuration and create an integration form for your PayPal payment, okay? Before that, please subscribe to my channel and show your support. And let's go to create a PayPal payment gateway here. So configuration, payment, payment gateway. Click on add payment gateway. Here you have to give the name for it. It's a payment, PayPal payment. I'm going to use a check uh, checkout plugin, PayPal payment checkout plugin. So these are the existing plugins, manual example and all. <clears throat> when you enable this model, all these uh, PayPal related plugins will be available here. I'm going to showcase now with the PayPal checkout preferred and display name for it. And I'm going to create here as a sandbox mode. When you go to a live or any other production website, you have to click on live. So I'm going to use sandbox here. And the PayPal amount will be uh, received by using the smart payment button here. I configured. Next, you have to create a API credential. So for API credential, you have to configure. Before that, go to your paypal.com and log in here. If you don't have account, you have to create. So here I'm going to log in. So once you logged in to the paypal.com, you have to go to the developer website. Here you have to go to the developer dashboard. And here you have to understand two things here. One is my apps and credential and accounts. Um, so accounts, sandbox accounts means you can use these accounts when you want to do a transaction in a development environment. So it will give a virtual amount here. So you can do the transaction here by for testing your website, okay? So I'm going to create a uh, two account here. So already it has business account one. This personal is, uh, this personal and business will be available by default. If you want to create new one, you can create. And I'm going to create new one for uh, personal. And the amount is US dollar so i'm going to click on that now you can see there is two account here for sandbox accounts one is business and one is personal uh, when you click on the view account this is a funding tab here you can see how much amount the user has this user has 5000 so when you click on this user funding So you can see um, this user has already $5,026, okay? So we have two account here. Next, what you have to do, you have to create a app here. My apps and credential, I'm going to create an app in the sandbox mode. So create app, give the application name, it's a Drupal Commerce Mer Merchant. This is a merchant account which we created now, which is there and create app. So this is linked with this account. We created app for this uh, business account, okay? And now we successfully created a app here. Here, uh, once you created, you can see client ID and the secret ID here. You have to configure these two ID in your configuration. When you copy paste, make sure you didn't add any extra space in it. And also for secret, copy and paste. If you want to disable any funding source or card type, you can configure here. And I'm going to save it. So now we successfully created a PayPal payment gateway checkout successfully. And next, what you have to do, you have to go to the product. I'm going to log in as an authenticated user, slash user. I 
and now going to the product called t-shirt product four so this is a t-shirt and the amount of this particular t-shirt is 30 dollars paypal gateway i'm i configured the uh, currency as dollars so i'm using a dollar here uh, to add currency in your Drupal Commerce, I already posted video. I will add that video in the description. If you want, you can check that. And I'm going to add this to my cart. New cart. Here you can see the uh, PayPal button here. When you click on the PayPal button, it will take you to the sandbox.paypal.com. Uh, since we configured it as a PayPal sandbox mode, right? In the configuration. Okay. So next, what you have to do? You have to go to the sandbox account. This is a personal account. So I'm going to click on view. Here I'm going to copy the mail ID of the person sandbox account. I'm pasting here. And next, password for that account. Copying. I'm pasting here. And logging in. Once you logged in, it will it is asking that do you want to play with pay with the uh, PayPal balance? I'm saying yes. I'm going to continue. So once uh, the pop up closed, I'm saying pay and complete the purchase. So once that is done, you have to log in as a sandbox account here. We already log in, logged in to the sandbox account, so we don't need to log in again here. This is a personal account. The amount is detected from my account. So I'm going to log in as a merchant account here now. Log in. And click on the merchant account. This is a merchant account view. So the amount should be uh, debited sorry credited to this account copy paste and password login so you can see increase right uh, so this is how you how to do the paypal payment gateway with the drupal commerce website okay and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye